Okay folks, welcome to part 2 of this trip where we head to Gaspri Island over the Christmas weekend with the family just to have some fun, relax and do some fishing. In part 1 we caught a lovely Check mutton snapper and then we hooked up on a monster cavalli that got away. In part 2 we visit the pool and the beach area. We continued to fish and hooked up on a monster once again and then went exploring in our dinghy. Check out what the morning vibes look like on Gaspari Island. It have one of the most amazing views on this island. You're just excited to wake up, make a cup of tea, coffee and just chill.
two with baits still around I decided to try some fishing with live baits and see what I can hold looking for one of the bigger ones Small little going to your own guys. <laughs> Another one for bait. So fish number three guys. Appears to be another grunt. But this one giving a little more fight. Let me see what it is. And it's a redfish, man. Lovely colors, boy. lovely colors. Check it out there. Hey, solo the hook. Let me see if I can let go in back. See. So this one is going to be fish number four. And it's another grunt. And this one is going to be safely released. Because you're a lucky fella. A bit too big for life bait, too small to cut up for bait. You just lucky.
this is the pool that everyone on the island has access to and in the background this is the beach and this is the view so it's time to send up the bird and take some shots so check this out
So guys, check out another angle of the Jack Carval at Godaway in part 1. Okay guys, so yesterday a massive cavalli got away on the artificial loop. I was a bit disappointed but that was meant to happen. However, today the most amazing thing happened. So one of my good partner was driving his radio control speedboat in the water. So I decided to get my drone and see how I could capture the boat actually racing. And I did get some epic footage, so check this out. However, while he was driving the boat, it created some attention in the water and apparently it attracted the Cavallis to come back inside the bay. But this time they came in silent and as I just landed the drone and I looked in the water I saw colours. I actually thought it was a school of stingray but when I realised it was the Cavalli, I wasted no time, grabbed my line. Since the line burst yesterday, I didn't actually tie it back. So I had to get my line set it tie on the lure. And on the second cast, I hooked up. So check this out and let me know what you guys think. Naki, nice. don't throw it, I don't want it, I don't want it. Let me land this one. Huh? Huh. Hold on, let's go. Look at the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said you would.
So folks, it's the last day here on Gaspari Island. Um, and the last day I'm going to take out the Intex Marina for. Do some trolling, take some footage around the island and share it with you guys. So, One, two, two three. three, boom! And then we hooked up right away. A big fish on us! Yeah, big fish on the line. Big fish, big fish! When I wasn't expecting to catch anything. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Aita. So this area is the southwestern side of the island and I'm just amazed how beautiful this area is. I have a boat too. Oh, another fish here. Let's see what it is. It is, seems to be a bit smaller. That's another Karangas, my friends. Guys, check it out there. Down the islands, gas free. Trolling on the Marina 4. And getting some nice grades of Karangas.
Take out, go release this one. On the index. So while we were chilling and stuff, this guy named Darren was actually riding his jet skis with his two daughters. And very cool fella. And he we decided to cap it from our drone. And they did some, I guess, stunts. Yeah, he took all the jet skis, raced it, and we captured this footage. So check this out, guys. <laughs> 